The inflation rate here in Bulgaria has rose month upon month for the last 12 months. Though I know this is happening all over the world, in Bulgaria it's one of the highest in Europe. Will it stop? Is this just speculation or will this turn into a hyperinflation? Today we're going to talk about the possible causes for this inflation. We're also going to speak to the people that it's affecting, foreigners, business owners and Bulgarians. And does the government have this under control? And later, I'm going to share some secrets how to save money here in Bulgaria, how you can get that information. The fact that the prices are rising here is not speculation, because you can feel it in your pocket, although the reasons behind may be speculative. We're going to take a look at the prices from 12 months ago. Now, if you want to find these prices on the internet, it's very difficult. But luckily, I made a video this time last year about the cost of living here in Varna. So I've got them prices on video and we're gonna compare them prices to today. So let's go and do that now. So we're gonna go back to Kaufland where we did the original prices from last year. We're gonna check the most important products that everybody did every day use. Apples were 1.99 a kilo last year. This year, 3.49, that's a 75% increase. Carrots were 89 stutinki a kilo. This year, 1.49, that's a 67% increase. Potatoes were 99 stutinki, now 1.49 a kilo. That's a 50% increase. Onions were 2.40 for 3 kilo, which is 60 stutinki a kilo, now 99 stutinki a kilo. 65% increase. Sunflower oil, everybody's favourite, 2.99 was last year. This year, 4.99. That's a 66% increase. One of the cheapest bread at 1.19 per loaf. This year, 155 per loaf, 30% increase. Tijo coffee, 449 per packet. This year, one level up, 549, 22% increase. Sophia flour, 139 a kilo. This year, 195 a kilo, 40% increase. Pork products are more or less the same, just gone up about 50 stutinki a kilo, which is surprising. Biggest one, chicken. Last year, chicken legs, 4.29 per kilo. This year, 8.49 per kilo. That's a 97% increase. Surprisingly, mincemeat went down a little bit by 7%. The original price being 8.99. For 10 eggs, it's 2.35 last year. This year, with discount, was 2.99. Before discount, 3.99. That's a 69% increase. Olympus milk. 2.39 a litre last year has gone up to 3.49 a litre this year. 46% increase. On deal last year was 40 rolls of family toilet roll. 13.79 with 34 stutinki per roll. This year is 24 rolls for 15.99. That's 66 stutinki a roll. 94% increase. Alcohol, which is no surprise, is the same price like last year. One of the biggest things that's hurting people in the pocket is the petrol. Last year, for petrol 95, 183 per litre has now gone up to 297 per litre. That's 62% increase. Diesel has rose about the similar price. Throughout last year, the electricity and energy prices rose to a crazy level. That eventually got regulated a little bit. And towards the end of the year, the government thought they would do something by helping by stopping the electricity prices. But I'm not sure that's gonna work. I'm sure these big energy companies are just gonna push extra prices to cover their losses. But cover their losses. I mean, they still want to make their big profits. Check what type of world we're in today, where the big energy companies will push extra costs onto the consumers just to get the massive profits for themselves and the board members. Instead of taking a small loss themselves to pass that onto the consumer, through these hard times that everybody is going through. I'd love to know what you think about that, so please put it in the comments below. Whether this is speculation or not is a different story. Russell Brand does a nice video, which I'm gonna link in the video description, about last year, how many companies still made even bigger profits last year during the time of inflation was rising and rising. Now, he does a great explanation to that, so I, I suggest that you check out his video that I'll link in the video description. I'm no economist and I'm not 100% how inflation works, but that's exactly the point. They simplify it by saying government spending, the energy rises because of this, which passes on to the next cost, which creates more inflation. 
but there is so many factors to it, it makes it so complicated that you just accept what they say. And this is why it's so complicated, it makes it so easy to be manipulated. Now I'm not saying these factors don't have an issue on the inflation. And it's believed that this inflation is a lot down to the pandemic of the last two years and the conflict that's happening in Eastern Europe right now. Governments all over the world making, printing lots of money, spending lots of money, which is creating inflation. Though over the past couple of years, there's been a lot of strange things happening. But they only seem strange to us because they've not happened in our lifetime. But over history, things like this have happened in the past, just before the fall of one big empire. So it's very possible that it could be the end of America's big day. This is also explained in another video by a great guy that you can find in the video description. So in my opinion, this inflation is not gonna stop anytime soon until the world becomes top heavy and all the money is on the top. What do you think about that? I'd like to know, write it in the comments below. Now we start to get into the realms of conspiracy theory now. Now I'm not gonna come with the tin hat next video, but you know what they say. What's the difference between fact and conspiracy? I'll let you know later on in the video. Now I think it's time to go and check out the people's opinion who are living here in Bulgaria. Is it affecting them? Казвам се Екатерина Терзиева, основател съм на туристическа агенция Slow Tours и издател на електронната медия за земеделие и храни Агроновините. А в България обаче инфлацията продължи да пълзи нагоре, като към днешна дата я усещаме от основно по линия на потребителската кошница. Националният статистически институт през февруари тази година отчете най-голямо увеличение в цените на храните и безалкохолните напитки с над 3% с скок близо 2% в цените на услугите на хотели, ресторанти. Близо 3% е увеличението в цените на мебелите, на материалите за ремонт и поддръжка на жилище, а над 1% е скокът в цената на домакинските уреди. Увеличение има в цените на лекарствата, а не си посочи официални данни за цените на горевата, като формулира скок в цената с около 3 на 100 през февруари. В началото на март обаче цените на бензина а, скочиха още и преминаха психологическата граница от 3 лева на литър, като а, тази цена от тогава до сега почти не се е променила и ако има някакъв спад, то е пренебрежимо нисък. Hi, I'm Remy Hogart. I'm from the Netherlands. I live here in uh, Selo Mihailovo. It's a little village by Stara Zagora with my English husband and uh, the first uh, years we were every time we uh, traveled abroad for our work and then we came home we were like so pleasantly surprised by how how affordable everything is that now it's 2022 and uh, yeah the prices are going up I thought it was gonna happen when the uh, when the euro would come into account or uh, into into the system because when the euro came into effect in Holland the prices doubled overnight it was not allowed but it happened anyway but it's happening now uh, there is inflation and it goes very rapidly and the electricity bill is out of control <laughs> so uh, yeah and but it's for everybody so yeah what to say about it um, we just have to deal with it I guess а миналия месец инфлацията в еврозоната достигна рекордно високи стойности след нахлуването на Русия в Украина. През март потребителските цени се повишиха с над 7% спрямо година по-рано и а, така всъщност а, инфлацията продължи да нараства в цяла Европа. На този фон Европейската централна банка в началото на април обяви, че планира да повиши лихвените проценти, след като прекрати програмата си за изкупуване на облигации през третото три месече на тази година. Перспективите за Европа и в частност България не са никак благоприятни. So, my name is Ben. I'm from uh, Adelaide, South Australia and I'm 27 years old. Well, I have noticed uh, inflation is getting, uh, it is getting higher now, so I think like uh, normal everything everyday things like uh, water and oil uh, like a 10 liter bottle of water water I used to buy was about two lever now it's close to 250 for petrol is ridiculously expensive about three lever a liter so probably we'll keep going up still until this uh, war in Russia and Ukraine is 
Jimmy, so though. It's, it's affecting me somewhat, but put it this way, it could be a lot worse than it is right now. So, right. so affecting people that are not earning so much, like the minimum salary. I mean, minimum salary here isn't that much, and things are getting more expensive for them. So it must be making their life a lot more difficult. So. Yeah. Европа и България в частност са застрашени не просто от енергийна, но и от продоволствена криза, тъй като макар в масовите медии за това да не се говори, 60% от торовите, които се използват в земеделието с происход Русия, енергийната съставка при тях е на газа и на нефта, а това веднага ще се калкулира и в цените на храните. Uh, me personally know that I think it's just affecting more people on a minimum wage since the minimum wage in Bulgaria has been increased, but I don't think that it's still enough. It affects most of these people because uh, of the rise of the products, for example, oil, um, water, I think, electricity, and most of these things only like um, about the food it's only the oil that kind of rolls from nowhere which I kind of don't understand it's one of these causes is that people just uh, are trying to earn more like as we're just trying to develop a business for example if I were to start my own uh, computer shop or an IT store where I, I would like to say uh, to sell my software like uh, at first i'm just gonna go s cheap until people start loving it and then uh, i'm just gonna try to raise it up so it kind of improves а в същото време бюджетът на страната ни не може да покрие всички дефицити чрез помощни и директна подкрепа за бизнеса и земеделците а за да се напълни държавната хазна не е изключено политиците да прибегнат до увеличаване на данъчната тежест предстои и приемане на еврото у нас след две години, което въпреки уверенията на политици и някои економисти, вероятно, както се случи в други страни в Европейския съюз, ще доведе до нови трусове и поскъпване на, на живота у нас. Така че не ни остава нищо друго, освен да затегнем коланите и вместо към презапасяване, което подхранва спекулата и още повече повишава цените на пазара, Призовавам да помислим как сами можем да си произвеждаме храната. The big thing is everything it's be it's going up. All product is up. Uh, the price of uh, the life level again it's up. And all all of them. Uh, the product uh, if they uh, receive the materials from the our final products uh, with every delivery it's going up and uh, it's normal to the final production is going up yeah. it's not possible to stay at the same level pushing the prices up everything and uh, maybe 50 percent is a speculation about this so it's for me it's it's not stopped it's going up 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 up, up. Uh, no going down I don't know why and I don't know how, but we try to still in the same level because if you calculate in the real price, uh, the product is uh, not can be uh, sell to the people, mm -hmm. and we still to the minimum, minimum, yeah, minimum profit. Yes. Take. Of course, problem. Prices, uh, benzene. Benzin, uh, eat products, 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 everything, everything, everything. Your prices they go higher, go so higher. you have to make your prices higher. Yeah, for big problem, this little standard for the for the standard. Yeah, yes. Um, and do you think that the no work, no, no work, no work, yeah, no, no work, yeah. Cena, digger, eli spree, digger, digger. It's only going to go up, 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 all prices. Up prices. Yeah? Nothing. Yeah, because uh, they want to kill the small business, yeah? Small business. It's a small business. Falit. Let's see. Falit. Okay. Good day. In Bulgaria, the reason for the reduction of the stock of the stock is the price of the stock 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 of the st
има намеса и войната. И затова се надяваме, че повече цените няма да растат нагоре, да се нормализират цените, за да може да живеят хората по-нормално. My name is Jana and I'm Bulgarian. Thank God I don't belong to the most vulnerable groups of this society. There are many vulnerable groups in the Bulgarian society. As you may know, Bulgaria is one of the poorest, if not even the poorest country in the European Union. Uh, nevertheless, I have noticed the inflation, um, especially in January when I have had to uh, rearrange my traveling plans to the year 2022. I know I have to be careful about my uh, you know, uh, about careful about buying shoes, for example, buying clothes, this kind of stuff. Um, basket, the shopping bag has shrunk everywhere, obviously. Um, and it is all the more uh, perceivable in Bulgaria, where, as we said, many people belong to vulnerable groups. We're talking retired people, we're talking single parents, we're talking people that live on minimal wages. I can see that the prices are skyrocketing. It's not very pleasant. Um, I need to actually calculate a bit more and to start thinking about my budget, which I don't really like doing, but we all have to do it uh, to a certain extent. Well, so greetings from Sofia. I'm wishing you uh, health and luck in your survival struggle, wherever you are. My name is George Ujiev. I'm a student at the American University in Bulgaria, and also we're running a tourism business in Burgas, which is called Burgas Free Tour, and a business in Sozopo, which is called Sozopo Food and Wine Tour. Or Seeking Traveler is the name of the company. So what I can say is that it's noticeable that all the prices are going up, everything is getting more and more expensive. Mm, everyone knows that. But especially like me, my friends, my family and the people who I know, they're not so affected by it because this hasn't stopped them from doing the things that they loved or buying the things that they used to buy or doing the things that they used to do. Just the prices are getting up. And especially for our business, um, I believe that we have to raise our prices a little bit. Depends on how much our suppliers are going to raise their prices, but we will have to raise them. But I'm mostly concerned about the elderly people in Bulgaria and the small businesses because they have had many small businesses now, they just go bankrupt because they cannot keep up with the high electricity bills for business that are now in Bulgaria. And I believe that the inflation rates are gonna go up, maybe till the moment that um, everything is again normal in the world. And I cannot say <laughs> when this is going to happen. Thank you. Does the government have it all under control? Well, according to this article from January 2022, that the inflation rate would not rise above 10%, it kind of looks like they don't. So don't count on them to help us out. Early in the video, I asked you what was the difference between fact and conspiracy. Well, six months. Funnily enough, something that was deemed conspiracy six months ago is actually common fact now. So I'd really like to know how many more of these conspiracy theories will come true in the future, which is actually quite scary. If you sit and only take your information from the mainstream media on television, then you're only gonna be fed one idea. You take a little bit from them. You read some things on the internet. You read things here, listen to other people's opinions, and you combine all that together and you might get your own truth. Because this is what free speech is all about. Taking the opinions of all different people and then coming together and you might get a better truth then. So now is actually the time to start thinking about saving money. And that's why we've teamed up with a company called Wise. It's an internet bank that's trying to beat the regular banking systems. I'm going to put a link here. You go check out their terms and conditions and maybe you sign up. If you come in here on holiday or you come in here to live and you receive money in foreign currencies, you can hold money in different currencies. It's a great bank. I've used them for over four years now. Go check out their terms and conditions and if you like, sign up. Other ways that you can save money here in Bulgaria, I've made a video about it. So I suggest you go and ch check this video here and you can learn about how you can, can save money in every aspect of your life. I'll see you over there.